Hi everyone, I'm back again. So, um, yeah, my video got lengthy um, earlier. Um, so I, I also made some more Christmas um, gift card holders. And then um, a couple of uh, plush toys for my kids. And one for myself. <laughs> so I'm going to share that with you right now. So, um, so I had shared um, the Christmas cards with you guys. And all the Christmas cards were made um, using the bundled up um, crepe paper. And um, the what the other pad paper pad that I had uh, shared from my previous video, which was the um, Jolly uh, the American Crafts one with the glittered paper, um, I made the um, card holders. So let me just show you that. So here is one of them. Super cute. And I made these um, card holders using um, the Sizzix, um, oh goodness, it's a Sizzix die, and I think it's a Seed Packets die. Um, and I had purchased it after I had watched uh, Bona, um, one of her tutorials on um, how she made her little gift cards. And, um, you know, around the Christmas season, you know, sometimes you... Um, there's that one person that, you know, you forgot to get a gift for or, um, you know, maybe you thought you weren't going to see them, but then you ended up seeing them. So, you know, you need something really quick <laughs> to give a gift to. And, um, or a coworker, you know, something um, easy and where you don't, you know, have to make a full card for. Um, so these are really super easy and really cute and very simple. I just used um, the die to make the little um, holders and then just uh, used um, one of my bow dies, uh, the Sizzix bow die. And um, this paper here actually is from the bundled up paper, um, the crepe paper, um, but this one is from the American um, Craft Jolly paper. So really easy, really cute, and so, you know, easy, easy to make. So I made this one. And then I made this one, just using a different bow and some eyelash trim and also that chenille uh, wireless trim from Michaels. And then, um, love the way this one came out. Super cute. Um, you have to be careful though when you make this um, because um, when you cut the piece, um, like this is nice and upright, you know, the image. But um, on the other side, unfortunately, the um, the tree, Christmas trees, are upside down. So <laughs> um, I'm thinking maybe I should have just used this side here to put the bow. I think that's how Bona did hers. Um, but I really love this, you know. And I really wanted the bow to be this side here. And I figured maybe it'll cover the upside down Christmas trees. <laughs> but anyway. And then these bows. I love it. Um, again, I used um, my Sizzix bow die. And I had this great idea to, um, you know, after I had cut the paper. And this is not double-sided paper. So with these bows, because they have these slits in here um, you can really see you know the back side of the paper and it was it's just white and my daughter said oh I don't like that that looks funny so I thought okay well you know I'll put um, some of that chenille um, uh, trim and it worked out and I love it it, made, it gave it that Christmassy um, look and and then I found this in my stash as well and it's a little um, pom pom uh, ball there so I put that in the middle so I thought that was super cute so I love that and then here's another version and I love this paper the snowflake and the color and here again this is the crepe paper bundled up 
and the glittered paper here is the American Craft Jolly paper. But see, I love that. It's so cute. So I found another new way to make my bows, so I really love it. I just really love these bows. I mean, you can just stick them on any project, really, and, you know, on a card, on a gift car, uh, gift holder like this one, on your minis. I mean, really, you can use it on anything. And then um, I decided to go ahead and use my um, that uh, very expensive uh, <laughs> Sizzix die that I bought at the expo. Um, and... Um, you know, I, I cut um, using felt, and so this is my my little snowflake. Not little, it's kind of big. So I just layered it. I um, cut two of the bigger snowflakes and then two of the little ones, and I layered it. And it is using felt, and then in between the two big layers on the bottom, I, I put some of the eyelash trim from Martha Stewart. And, and then I put this blingy um, uh, flat back, uh, I don't know what they're called, but they're the ones that I got from downtown LA. And these are just bead rhinestone, it says on there, but it's this one right here. And I didn't realize that they were snowflakes, so look at that. Perfect. Yeah. So that worked out so nicely and I love it. Dimensional and so cute. So super easy. So there are my gift card holders. And then I had been sewing. Um, I've been using my sewing machine so you guys would be very proud of me. Um, I finally learned how to use it. And um, I was a couple of weeks ago, I was, you know, um, cutting my my son's pants because you know the they're too long for him and um, and he's ready to go on a trip um, where it's going to be a little bit uh, cooler so I had to cut all his jeans um, and make them shorter and um, so I had my sewing machine out and I was just in the sewing mood and I said oh I want to make um, some Tilda dolls you know not doll but the the characters and one of the ones that I really wanted to make was a bear and it's the, the simple bear but I don't have any of the books you guys so um, I just went on the internet and then found a pattern and so here's my little Tilda bear okay let me just show you guys because it's so cute I think it's cute my husband thinks it's kind of funny looking but whatever <laughs> and there's my first little Tilda bear now, I don't know if it's really a Tilda Bear. I mean, the the pattern is. Um, however, the pa the fabric is not Tilda. So, And this is um, the fabric that I got at Hancock's Fabrics. But I love it anyway because I love that striped um, white pattern. And so I just um, used these um, flat back pearls that I got from the Expo a few years ago. Um, for the eyes, and then um, I just used some black uh, fabric for the, the nose, and um, put a one of these bows from Michaels on her hair, on, well, not hair, but um, just right there next to her ear, and then um, as a scarf, I just used this, uh, this ribbon that I got a long time ago, and I believe it is from Target, their dollar bin. And then I just gave her a little brooch there to hold her scarf. And then for her little um, skirt, I just used um, some ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby a while back and one of those, uh, uh, another bow. So very simple, but I thought she came out so cute. And um, you know, I, I couldn't make this nice and pretty here, and I didn't know what to put there. I don't know how you guys do your dolls, you know, how do you, like, I mean, I, you can go over it with your um, machine, because then this is the area where you leave open, and then you have to stuff it, 
Um, next time I guess maybe I'll do it over here so maybe the skirt can cover it but anyway still even though she's imperfect and she is very imperfect I love her she's mine and then um so of course my daughter wanted me to make her one too and um, she found the fabric <laughs> And we recycled, okay, you guys? Oh, I gotta show you this because it's really, really cute. And this one really looks like a bear. Okay, so my daughter said, I want you to make it out of this fabric. And what she did was she got one of her old um, hoodies. And the inside lining of her hoodie had this nice um, fuzzy, I don't know what material this is. But that's what she wanted her bear out of. So I made her one and pretty much did the same thing, followed the same pattern, and then she wanted clothes on it, and um, she's actually a ballerina, you guys, so I made her a little tutu, and um, put some more, um, covered her up, because my daughter wanted her, her top covered as well, and then this is a, a bling that I got from the expo, it's one of those acrylic flowers, and then, um, she wanted a Santa hat, but she's also a princess, so after the holidays, we're going to take this off, and she is a little ballerina princess. So I made this crown, and I had intended to use a different crown for her, but the first crown that I have didn't work out. It wouldn't stay on her head, and I didn't know how to sew it, so we improvised, and this is actually, this crown is made of, um, can you guys guess? It is one of those metal corners that you get from um, Wild Orchid Craft. <laughs> and I just turned it into a crown. Put some little jewels there, and there we go. An instant crown. So, perfect. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but here she is in her tutu. So I thought that came out really cute. So there's the other bear. And then lastly, of course, my son had to have one as well and I didn't have um, the right material I just didn't know what kind he wanted so um, we ended up using felt and so here's the other one and this bear is using I use a different pattern on this bear um, because he didn't really care for my Tilda pattern but it's kind of similar and anyway the eyes and the nose and the mouth is actually um, using uh, embroidery thread so I actually sewed that so not too bad I guess the mouth is a little kind of wonky but um, <laughs> nevertheless it's still a bear it still looks like a bear to me so there's his bear and he's naked but that's okay he has his Santa hat and um, there you go and we made the Santa hats out of felt and a pom-pom and that chenille trim again love this chenille trim so there you go guys there is my Christmas project and stay tuned for more Christmas projects um, as soon as I get my tilde paper I will be um, making some more stuff so thanks for watching guys and have a, a great rest of the week thank you bye bye